This is Clarence Hill and Shereen Williams coming to you from the Cowboys Complex a few days after their second loss of the season. They ended their six-game winning streak, and we're still trying to find out will Tony Romo play this weekend against the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, and Chill, it sure sounds like they don't know. They truly don't know. It's going to be a game-time decision. Uh, they've been very vague about what the injury is. He got hit in the back. You know, we'll see uh, how he does this week and how he comes through and if he can play or not. If it was me, I would play Brandon Whedon because he's getting all the reps in practice. He is healthy. He can handle that blitz. Arizona, the top blitzing team in the NFL. We saw what Washington brought. They brought the house against Tony Romo, sacked him five times, hit him a bunch more. If it's me, I play Brandon Whedon. Well, yeah, it's, and it's the smart and seemingly the prudent thing to do. You have a 6-2 and two record. You have the luxury of waiting. You have this game. You have a game which is a, a bye week next week against Jacksonville Jaguars. Then you have your bye week, which will give Romo four weeks to rest, four weeks off of that back to really come back for the stretch run when they play against the New York Giants. You know, the goal is to be good at the end of the season. The goal is to make a playoff run. You set yourself up for that. Certainly Brandon Whedon can handle these next two weeks uh, uh, and let Romo rest. That's what they should do. Question, we don't know what the Cowboys will do. Romo did not practice on Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, he still has a lot of pain in that area, a lot of pain in his back. It's about soreness. Certainly, if it's an issue of pain tolerance, he will play, but it's, issue, it's, it's more of an issue of being functional and being able, able to execute as quarterback, something I don't think he did at the end of that Redskin game. No, he didn't, and it is a pain tolerance thing. I know that makes him sound like a, a sissy, but that's what it is. Can he shoot him up and he not feel pain enough to get done what he needs to done, do? And that is, they call it functionality. And if he can be functional and torque and do all those things, then I think he will play. But I don't think they should play him uh, on Sunday because he is probably going to miss all the practice week this week. And I just think Whedon, Whedon with what he did, 10 points, uh, he was effective, he was efficient, he was accurate, he really led this offense, he knows this offense, having spent so much time with the first team uh, through training camp, OTAs, you know, even going back that far. Uh, he's been with the first team with Romo in that surgically repaired back. So I like what Whedon's done. I'd really like to see Whedon start this game and see what he can do against this Arizona defense. Right, and there's one other factor, the Arizona Cardinals defense. Okay. You know, one factor in why Romo got hit and got hurt against the Redskins because they couldn't handle the blitz. You know, he got a uh, knee in the back on a blitz from Ken Robinson. And the Redskins like the blitz, but so do the Cardinals. They are a blitz-happy unit, and certainly they're going to copy uh, the blueprint that the Redskins put out there. Blitz the Cowboys, blitz Romo, and they're going to put a lot of heat, a lot of pressure on them. I would not put him out there in harm's way. And they're going to run the ball. We know that. They've done that all season. That's been the game plan, mm -hmm. maybe even bigger part of the game plan this week with DeMarco Murray, over 1,000 yards already. Is this the week? against one of the top run defenses in the NFL. They were number one last season into the year as the number one run defense. They've been very, very effective. They held LaShawn McCoy below 100 yards last week. Does DeMarco Murray get another 100-yard game uh, this week? Oh, well, certainly he gets 100 because they're going to give him to him 40 times. You know, he's going to get his 100 yards. And certainly the Cardinals have been good against the run, but they haven't faced a run offense with, with DeMarco Murray and the likes of the Cowboys offensive line all season as well. That's the fact. Remember, Seattle had a great run defense. You know, they were only giving up 67 yards a game before the Cowboys offense line and DeMarco Murray carved them up. So I, I think they'll get the yards to the ground. And they got the yards to the ground against the Redskins. The thing is, they got blitz on third down. You still have to throw the ball and make third down conversions. And that's the issue that the Cowboys have to face on Sunday. A lot of things to talk about. Obviously, the biggest one is Tony Romo. We'll come to you after the game talking more Cowboys. For Clarence Hill, I'm Shereen Williams.